Hi, my name is Charles Triagenda and I'm a staff engineer at Interdigital Labs London. Today I'm going to demonstrate one of the 5G Coro use cases, which is the immersive 360 video streaming. In this use case, we leverage edge and fork computing to deliver an end-to-end -end video streaming service. In this demonstration, we decompose the live 360 video streaming application into microservices that are deployed at the data center, edge, and fork node. The decomposition is based upon the compute requirements of each of these microservices. For example, at the data center, we run the more compute intensive tasks such as uh, tile encoding and segmentation. At the edge server, we run the less compute intensive tasks such as uh, dash, cast, dash client and segmentation. On the fork node, we run the lightweight uh, services such as the orientation service. The benefits of having this hierarchical tier of compute include reduced cost of deployment, uh, a unified orchestration across all three tiers of compute, and uh, reduced bandwidth due to leveraging the orientation service. I in the setup today, we've got two cameras streaming 8K video to our data center. Uh, which is located underneath the cabinet. Uh, the 360 video is then uh, broken down into a set of chunks, and each of these chunks is encoded into high definition or low definition tiles. The chunks are then kept in a cache, uh, awaiting for a, a request from the edge server. The edge server in turn takes the orientation service uh, from the fog nodes, and based on this orientation service, is able to retrieve high quality video for the view that the user is looking at and low quality uh, 360 video for all the surrounding video that the user is not looking at. In our setup, we've got uh, three clients, uh, two Samsung Galaxy S9 phones and an, an Oculus Rift uh, headset. Um, now we are going to invite one of our guests to uh, have a go uh, with our clients. This is an S9 phone and uh, as you pan it around, uh, you can see from the video that it keeps tracking your orientation and streams only the, uh, the, the bit you're looking at in high definition and everything else in low definition. We're able to do this because we are providing uh, a low latency uh, orientation service uh, through the fog devices. We have a second client, which is the Oculus Rift headset, uh, through which you can receive an immersive experience. This is one example of uh, a use case that leverages edge and fog computing. Within the 5G Cora project, we have two more use cases, and this is the fog-assisted robotics that provides synchronized delivery and the augmented uh, reality-aided navigation within an, a closed indoor environment.